What next big blessing is headed your way? Stick around to find out. Hey, Dreamy Dreamers, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is a pick a card on your next big blessing. We have three piles, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Pile number one, we have this sunflower agate crystal with, I speak with good intent. Pile number two is we have this Amazonite crystal heart with I give blessings. And pile number three, we have this golden stone star with I am accepting. So I'll give you all some time, my dreamy dreamers, to meditate on your pile selection. Okay, so again, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hi, pile number ones. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful flower agate alongside your pile selection card, I Speak With Good Intent. So the flower agate stabilizes our aura, and it really um, grounds our yin and yang energies right so our masculine and feminine energies so i feel like the the big blessings the next big blessings that are coming into you is something that you've been speaking into existence right especially here with i speak with good intent and you know this could be like something that helps to change you from the inside out because you can see there's this a young goddess-like figure here alongside this bird yeah. usually are sent as messengers, right? So again, I feel like your next big blessing is coming in because you've spoke something into existence. And not only have you spoke something into existence for yourselves, pile number ones, but you've also given really great energy and positive intentions towards others. So it's almost like making your blessing come in faster, right? And it's almost like you're getting ready for it, right? You are um, dressing up for the occasion to receive your blessing, okay? So this is really cool. Like you can tell she's like putting on her earring and she's listening to the bird chirp or the bird trying to communicate with her. Um, you can even be getting some type of insight, right? Or some type of message sent to you as you're getting ready or good news sent to you as you're getting ready because you've been speaking with good intent and you've been speaking with good intent because you've probably been inundating yourself with good intent, with good intentional speak or with good intentional speech is what I'm trying to say. You see how this like goddess figure is like getting ready, right? And we could even like have this bird represent like maybe like affirmations or like a YouTube video that's like really positive or inspiring or something like that as, as a person's getting ready to like go about their day or like go to an event, okay? So I feel like whatever you've been speaking to yourself, you've been speaking into other people as well. You've been speaking good intentions to other people. And it's almost like calling in this next big blessing very quickly. Okay. So let's begin with your reading, pal number ones. What's pal number one's next big blessing spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pal number ones. What's their next big blessing? Okay. So we have two cards. We have water with spirituality, emotion, intuition, and compassion. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have yin. And like I was saying, that goddess figure with intuition, trust, patience, spirituality, and receptivity. And we have Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo. Capricorn and Pisces. So we have this yin energy, this water energy, this fluidity, right? That's um, kind of like becoming a theme in this reading already. So tell us more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What next big blessing is coming into our pile number ones? 
what next big blessing is coming into our pile number ones. I genuinely do feel like there is something, A, you are receiving something. There's something coming into you, right? Um, and I feel like this could be in the, this could be in, by way of intuitive hits or hunches that you're following pile number ones that's going to take you to your next big blessing. It's almost like, Whatever you're inundating your mind with right now, it's working for you, right? Mm -hmm. So you could be inundating your mind with a lot of spirituality, um, a lot of receptivity to whatever it is that you're listening to. Um, you could be listening to motivational speakers or just some anything that's positive. And because you are like literally absorbing and going with the current of that positivity, you are being led to something big. Okay. So let's see. Tell us more spirit. What's pile number one's next big blessing? Okay. Wow. You guys seen that flip out trying angelic support, harmony, and perfect flow. I feel like what's what your next big blessing is, is a some of you all may be water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios, or you could be uh, feminine signs, right? So we have Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Cap um, Virgo, Scorpio. I didn't know Scorpio was a feminine sign either. Um, Capricorn and uh, Pisces. You could be those feminine aspected signs, but I feel like you're in the receptive mode and blessings are definitely coming your way with this trine energy here. Um, I feel like the next big blessing you're about to get, you're being led to, and you've been calling it in with good intent, right? Because you have good intentions with whatever it is that you are calling in to your life, pile number ones, you're about to get that tenfold. And not only are you about to get that tenfold, your angels, your guides are helping you. So pay attention to, you know, the messages that you receive, right? and how you speak, you know, things into existence. Bottom of the deck, we have Sagittarius energy with optimism, exploration, and freedom. So I feel like you're calling in a lot of that. You're calling in more so an energy shift um, and fluidity, right? Almost like this gracefulness that you've been exuding. Like even look at this goddess, this goddess energy here is so graceful and in, in, in their movement, right? So let's get in your tarot to get more information because I feel like I do feel like this is kind of vague, but I'm also getting you you are calling in your divine feminine energy, right? Definitely calling in your divine feminine energy and angelic support and fluidity, right? You could be calling in a flow state, right? To where like you're very on top of things, but organically, there's no force behind this, okay? There's just like this, almost like a flowing stream of water um, is what this is reminding me of right now. You're just going with the flow, but it's a beautiful flow and it is working for you and you're being like, almost like slowly led to like something magnificent is what I'm getting, right? Slowly led to your magnificence. Okay, so let's let's see more. Let's get into it. Okay, clear, concise, accurate messages. What's our pile number one's next big blessing? It's definitely something positive. You're calling in a lot of positivity right now, especially with this flower agate and the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius energy with optimism, exploration, and freedom. Okay, some of you all could be calling in financial freedom. Some of you all could be calling in like a freedom of like this uh, dense energy that your heart chakra has been having or like your inner world has been having. You're, you're being freed up right now. What's pile number one's next big blessing, spirit? Pile number one's next big blessing. Thank you. Yeah, seven of fire, cinnamon, energy. I don't know why I'm getting immediately energy. Like where you may have felt like stagnated or moving slow, the pace is being picked up for you. What's pile number one's next big blessing spirit? Especially with cinnamon, the seven of fire, I am using the herb crafters tarot deck. And I feel like there is a fire that's been lit in you. But like I said, it's like this organic fire. It's like this slow burning fire that like won't go out, you know, because it's so fluid in its nature, you know? You ever see like fire so hot it turns blue so it almost emulates water? 
That's what I'm getting. And it's so hot. It's like, you know how they say like um, everything is vibrating, even quote unquote inanimate objects, everything is vibrating, but they're vibrating so fast. It looks like they're stand standing still. This is what's happening. What is pile number one's next big blessing spirit? What's our pile number one's next big blessing? Okay. So we have the seven of earth with oak. Okay. This is something you've been in, investing in. You've been investing in yourself a lot, pile number uh, ones, and it's paying off. And we have seven, seven, and then we have the devil here, card number 15 with Blackberry. So I feel like you're calling in um, a lot more investing in yourself and you're standing up for yourself. You could be learning a lot. You could be like absorbing a lot of knowledge right now, reading a lot of books, like really doing your quote unquote homework, right? And I feel like you've called in to a certain extent um, the energy to do that. Whereas you may have felt like in the recent past, you have you have lacked that energy or inspiration more so is what I'm trying to say um, to really kind of learn about your processes or your dreams or making something better or doing something in a better way here, doing something in a more efficient way, right? Like almost like also you're calling in this really intense burning desire and higher vibrations is what I'm getting. Seven of fire here, you're standing up for your convictions. You know, you, you could be doing a lot of like, proverbial ritual work. So you could be doing like literal ritual work, but you could be making something into a ritual, like putting something into your uh, life as a ritual. So you won't forget to vibrate high or, you know, think positively or, you know, um, get your work done or something. Something is becoming like a ritual, like an everyday occurrence for you. And, you know, you're big blessing or one of them at least is calling in the energy to do that right and with the seven of earth oak i feel like even the time that you have to um dedicate to study and to knowledge and to seeing what you should really be investing this newfound energy into right and i feel like with the seven of earth too it's all about um uh our harvest in a sense right uh, it's all about kind of like putting in work and having something bloom and come into fruition. And now that it's in full bloom, we're like, okay, well, what's next, right? What is what is our next manifestation or what is our next big step that we're going to take to um, cultivate into our reality, right? And with the devil here, it's interesting because it's almost like these photos are like, these photos are depicted of someone gathering like oaks or, or or the tree nuts or whatever these are and then you know gathering ingredients whereas there's a whole big pie here so it's almost like with this devil energy what i'm getting there's two things you either have been cut be you either are becoming obsessed with what you're doing which if it's positive and it's a healthy obsession i don't think that's a wrong thing. Or what you're doing is you are literally taking the intricate steps to getting yourself out of a form of toxicity, like almost like once and for all. Okay. So let's see. Some of you all could be Capricorns too, or have a lot of Capricorn energy in your chart. And it's allowing you to be more fluid in galvanizing and obtaining the things that you want because you have this intensity you have this burning desire of like going after the things that you want with conviction right especially this could be in business this could be an enterprise commerce you know anything right this could be like very status driven as well what pile number one's next big blessing spirit okay so we have the curandera of water, which is the king of cups with seaweed. And then we have the eight of water with valerian. So, okay. So again, with this water energy, again, with this fluidity, right? Here's the thing. I'm getting your, you, you're being balanced out right now. And you are about to 
be blessed with like R and R rest and relaxation from a heavy workload that you've been doing. Right. I feel like, um, you're even being blessed with like a better quality of sleep as well with the aid of water valerian. Okay. And also pile number ones, what I'm getting is that like more self care because check these two cards out. This goddess energy or this uh feminine figure here, she's very she's very much so taking her time to get dressed, to be presentable, to take care of herself. And then we have this curandera, the king of cups, pouring a spiritual bath for themselves so they could relax, so they can unwind, and they can recharge their batteries and their energy. So your next big blessing is being able, being allotted the support the room and the um the resources to really take care of yourself this could be like a glow up so to speak that your spirit team your angels ancestors and guides are blessing you with because you've been working so hard that's what i'm getting especially with the devil energy here like you remember how i was saying they're collecting all the ingredients here and then boom this pie finally they they got the pie out the oven they made the pie and it's a proverbial thing right because it's not like the exact same ingredients, but it's similar. And look, they have cinnamon, right? They're grinding the cinnamon. Boom, the cinnamon's right there, you know? So we could even take it as that. But what I'm getting is that you're going to have in the near future a lot more time to dedicate to yourself and your self-care. And this could be in the most recent, in the most, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Pile number ones. This could be in the in the most recent future or in the in the near future as well. In the most recent future. That's funny. Okay, so um bottom of the deck, we have the three of fire with calendula. So I feel like you could be waiting on something. You could be feeling very like, uh, like when am I gonna be able to take care of myself? When am I maybe gonna be able to not slow this pro this progress down, but like, when am I going to be able to really invest more in myself? Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Like not even necessarily taking it easy, but like invest in myself, like have the, the time and the little, um, the, yeah, the time cut out to like, just really dedicate to myself and really be in my own energy. Okay. Almost like a spa day. You could be going to the spa too so let's see i want to clarify this devil card thank you god thank you spirit for cleansing and blessing this deck please clarify this devil card for our pile number ones in regards to their next big blessing so we have strength yeah i'm telling you you're obsessed with something you are obsessed with um growth Okay, and inner resilience and what it is that you're doing is I'm getting that you're even being obsessive about taming the toxic, lower vibrational, lower nature traits within you, right? So let's see, clear, concise, accurate messages. Clarify this devil card for our pile number ones in regards to their next big blessing. You could be wanting to kind of like, okay, this is what I'm getting. Your next big blessing is going to occur too when you slow down, right? I feel like you've been, you know, going, 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 doing, 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 researching, 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 like really intent, right? On getting your, getting to your goal. But once you slow down, once you kind of like, okay, you know what? Let me take my time. Let me actually take some time out for me and invest in like myself, whether I go to like a spa or do my own little spa day or something like that. Boom. That's when this is going to come in. Almost like when it, when your mind is cleared of it, pile number, pile number um, ones. So let's see. Yeah, when you leave it behind almost mentally or emotionally speaking, right? When you when your emotions are no longer tied up into what you've been calling in, you're going to get this. Clarify this eight of water spirit. Clarify this eight of cups for our pile number ones in regards to their next big blessing. Oh, wow. You guys got three cards for that. Look, the devil. Because you're, you're so obsessed, you're so attached to it, right? You could be very attached to what it is that you're calling in right now. Let's see. 
We have the Ten of Cups. I love that. We have the Magician go off. And we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Self-care, right? When you kind of like let go of this emotionally, everything is going to uh, be given unto you. Pile number um pile number um ones okay ten of cups the magician and the queen of cups like you're about to go find your happiness you know what i'm saying you are go you're making your overall happiness period you know you're opening up that cup that holy grail and then the first card um at, at the top of the deck is the star card so yeah there's some wish fulfillment coming in for you uh very soon so let's see let's conclude your reading um yeah so thank you god thank you for for cleansing and blessing this deck how will our pile number one's next big blessing come in for them spirit how will our pile number one's next big blessing come in for them okay i love that so we have abundance an abundance mindset I am a limit I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this physical reality exactly having an abundant mindset is going to make your manifestations and your desires come in at a rapid speed right and then we have pride it says I love myself and I see myself in everyone taking pride and ownership in who you are walking up straight you know straining your spine um keeping your head held high, you know, taking pride in your appearance as well. Okay. Taking care of yourself, right? Almost like proverbially looking the part, being a uh, living in the end of that manifestation. So maybe some of you all want to like, um, have a glow up quote unquote, or, or, uh, manifest like a new wardrobe or a spa day or whatever you want to manifest. If you kind of act and embody that part with pride, right? Cause that's the feeling state. You're going to call it in a lot faster, right? And that's how it's going to come in. Having an abundance mindset and being prideful in yourself, taking care of yourself, walking in the room, knowing your worth. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah. Pile number ones let's get one more card how will our pile number one's next big blessing come in for them how will our pile number one's next big blessing come in for them spirit okay i love this okay you guys got two cards it's one's relationships i am attracted to those people who serve my highest good so you're building relationships right now or if you're not Start building relationships, start cultivating relationships, start speaking with good intent uh, to people and listening to the messages, like really listening to them, right? Being very focused on what the people around you are saying, the people you're attracting in your life as well are saying to you right now, pile number ones, because when you do that, you are going to start cultivating more relationships. And you see how like this sacred geometrical shape is like, connecting to everything else like that's what's going to happen that's what's going to unfold right you think you could be going to like re really meeting high status people too like at a banquet or something like that because it's goddess energy she looks like she's getting ready for like something spectacular like something very formal okay so relationships i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher my higher good yeah so start continue or continue or start cultivating your relationships in regards to the rooms you want to be in the people you want to meet you know the um people you even want to be around because they emulate your the lifestyle you want to live right and then we have denial here it says i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness exactly and i feel like this is what this devil card is about too you are placing your fears on the back burner right you are feeling the fear and you're doing it anyway you're de you're denying it you're not suppressing it or repressing it but you're like warding it off through um um suggestion of positive thinking or a positive outcome right because you're speaking with good intent you are doing this intentionally to the point where you um it's going to become second nature to you and you're going to start seeing your life 
unfold in a more harmonious way overall. That's why I was saying this is going to be kind of like long standing happiness or success or like this contentment that's going to reside in you because you're practicing, you're, you're making sure that you're filling your mind, your heart, your spirit with these, with this good energy, with this fluid energy. Okay. So let's see at the bottom of the deck. Yep. What do we have here? Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This is exactly what we were talking about. You are literally creating your world. You are literally creating your own happiness as you go through speaking with good intent and absorbing things that speak life into you, okay? Intentionally, okay? So yes, pile number ones, I love you so much. What a spectacular reading. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Actually, we're not done here. Let's roll some of your astro dice to conclude your reading. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Um, tell, uh, okay. Yeah, give us a final message for our pile number ones in regards to their next big blessing. Final messages for pile number ones in regards to their next big blessing. Okay, so two of these fell off, but we have... Aries, we have the 11th house, okay? So these are friendships, relationships, right? Community. And then we have, I think, is this Pluto? So we have Aries, 11th house, and Pluto. Thanks. Karma, buried secrets, survival, the taboo, okay? And it says experiences, death and rebirth, transformation, where you are broken, purged and renewed, power, sex, your soul's evolution. I'm getting that this Pluto energy is kind of giving you this leverage. Um, this Pluto, especially this Pluto and this Aries energy is giving you this leverage in your relationships. You're very confident right now, or you're working on your confidence, right? And you are con you're leaving the old way of being, um, in regards to your identity and your nature pile number ones, and you are kind of like coming into, you know, a whole new, a brand new version of yourself. So your next big blessing is you're coming into this brand new version of yourself. You're transforming, right? And I feel like uh, your soul is evolving and, you know, you are really setting yourself free. Okay. So with that being said, I love you so much. Pile number ones. If you like this reading, if it resonated, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. And you guys hear that crow? Very interesting. Like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, and anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. If you are interested in a beautiful, gorgeous, one-of-a-kind tarot journal, look no further. The link to this journal will be in, in the description box on my website. So you guys could start purchasing this journal directly from my website. And if you all are interested in, you know, profiting, and if you all are interested in, and if you all are interested in building your spiritually based business and making it profitable, please hit me up on my website, www.crazydreamer.com. It's spelled how it's spelled on my YouTube handle, because I can help you with that. Okay. If you want more clients, if you want to learn how to, um, to, you know, use social media in regards to how you make money for your spiritually based business, hit me up www.crazydreamer.com. I'm giving free 15 minute consultations. Um, you know, for spiritually based business owners. And I know the majority of my followers are either tarot readers, oracle card readers are involved or interested in spirituality. So don't be afraid. Don't be a stranger. I would love to help you um, in your spiritually based business grow. Okay. So again, www.crazydreamer.com. And yeah, inquire about a free 15 minute spiritually based biz consultation. And yeah, I would love to hear from you, pile number ones. Okay. So, with that being said, I love you all so much and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number twos. Welcome back to your reading. So, you all chose this blue Amazonite crystal heart for your crystal selection. And I give blessings for your pile selection. So, immediately when I see in this card, I got the blessings you give will be the blessings you get. Like basically like giving and receiving, I'm getting six of pentacles energy. Also with this triangle here, I am getting air 
air energy. Um, so I feel like speaking things into existence, speaking people up, right? Talking them up, speaking value into people as well, especially with the butterflies, right? Speaking positive transformations into others will, you will see that positive transformations, uh, reflected back onto you pile number twos. Okay. So I feel like, again, the blessings that you, you give to others will be the blessings you receive. Right. So let's get into your reading. Um, tell us more spirit. What, what's the next big blessing coming in for our pile number twos? What's the next big blessing? Also with your uh, Amazonite, your blue Amazonite um, crystal heart, I'm getting, you're working a lot. Like these, these people, they, a, they kind of look like Gemini's, right? You could be a Gemini because I was getting air sign energy and like you can be agreeing to something. Your subconscious and your conscious mind could be agreeing to something. So there is this um, Bible quote. If I can find the journal, y'all. Yeah, I have it. There's this Bible quote that I wrote down from The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. And I thought it was always just amazing because it says it's, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my father, which is in heaven, Matthew 18, 19. And then I wrote in an asterisk, like I was very adamant, like, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I was very adamant. I wrote in an asterisk near the two. Um, the two are the harmonious agreement of your conscious and subconscious, right? So like, and I even, I showed this part to you guys um, on one of my, um, on the community board. So if you go to the community board um, and like scroll down, you'll probably see that. But long story short, this is definitely giving uh, Gemini energy. I was just talking to a friend the other day saying how, 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 Gemini's have a natural proclivity to business as well, right? They're very, they have a really amazing business acumen and it's very natural. And I feel like the mutable signs tend to, because in business, what happens is like, you kind of have to acquiesce to the energy, right? As a good, as a good business owner or as a, not a good business owner, but as a, uh, successful business owner, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to acquiesce to the tides, right? You can't be swept either or you have to kind of like ride the wave and go with the currents. And I'm not saying you don't have to be innovative. You have to be innovative, but you have to um, ride the waves in an innovative way, right? You have to like alchemize, right? It's, they say, especially in personal development, owning a business and working on a business is probably the best way to develop yourself personally because it takes a lot it, it really does and I know the business owners can attest to this like please put in the comment section wh what have you all seen if you own a tarot business if you own a, a oracle business if you own a spiritually based business what have you seen in your business that has really shaped you and made you a better person because you really had to kind of double down on yourself and and get the work done right so anyways i'm talking way too long here with the blue amazonite crystal you all could be focused on like um um, um commerce or like, you know, achieving something in the material realm when it comes to like your business or your finances or things like that. And I feel like I'm definitely, definitely, excuse me, getting Gemini energy, but I'm also getting six of pentacles energy with success and success is contingent on, um, your giving and receiving, right? That's what I'm getting. So let, let's, let's proceed with your reading pile number. Let me take this off. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's proceed with your reading pile number two. So why, I mean, what's pile number two's next big blessing, Spirit? What's pile number two's next big blessing? What's our pile number two's next big blessing? Thank you. So we have house of 11 with friends, like-minded groups, and humanitarian beliefs. So I feel like there's going to be... A, your next big blessing is like birds of a feather flock together. You're going to be in the room with like really amazing people who are influential, who make an impact in their community, right? With humanitarian beliefs, 
I'm getting Aquarius energy too, um, who really like work together for a common purpose, right? Friends, like-minded groups and humanitarian beliefs. So you could really be finding your tribe right now, pile number twos, and that's really making you happy. Uh, and it's making you like, you know, it's making you actually able to give out a lot of blessings and to be blessed in return because um, you're finding people who you could really mesh well with, okay? So let's see, what's pile number two's next big blessing spirit? What's our pile number two's next big blessing? Wow, beautiful energy. So we have trine, angelic support, harmony, and perfect flow. So on top of everything else, you are in a flow state. So typically, this is water energy too. And it's interesting. Um, yeah. Is that water? I thought water was an upside down triangle. No, I think that's fire. This is water this is water, pile number twos. This is water. This is an air, but it's giving dual, dual <laughs> duality. Okay. So this is water. Sorry, y'all. Forgive me. This is water energy. Okay. So it's giving dual energy, whether it be a uh, Gemini, whether it be Pisces. I feel like Geminis and Pisces have a similar, um, a similar vibe, but it's different. <laughs> It's like Geminis are like the more detached Pisces, okay? So anyways, there's this water energy here and this air element here with the 11th house, okay? That there's a lot of fluidity happening within your world. There is a lot of, um, a lot of give and take, okay? So I feel like spirit, God, your angels are supporting you right now. They want you to win. They want you to get this next big blessing and they're orchestrating it so you can, okay? What's pile number two's next big blessing? What's our pile number two's next big blessing, spirit? What's our pile number two's next big blessing? What's our pile number two's next two <laughs> big blessing? And we have earth. I love this. And it says persistence, patience, and practicality. Exactly. So it's like now we wait. You know, we do the work. We put in the work. We, we um, you know, we meet people. We network. We shake hands. We exchange information. And we just do the work and wait. Wait for it all to unfold, you know? Persistence, patience, and practicality. And right now, pile number twos, it seems like you're working on the more practical side of your dual nature, right? So when I say Gemini and Pisces have a very similar energy, however, Gemini seem to be the more kind of like detached Pisces. What I what I mean by that is like, you know, Pisceans have this rep or and I'll say Pisceans because not all water signs, but Pisceans have this rep for being so dreamy and fluid that they kind of just get, they just get lost in the drift, right? They just get lost in the current. But what I'm getting is that you're no longer getting lost in this current pile number twos. You are placing your feet firmly on the ground. You are, um, making sure that you hold on to something so you won't get swept up by the current. And by doing that, pile number twos, you're more able to manifest, create, and to bring into fruition things on the material faster. I feel like you all have been able to do that. However, um, maybe for some of you, it's been like, a, a give and take, right? It's been a very push and pull type energy, like a con conflicted energy on like how to kind of like get it to a science to where you're like, okay, A and B equals C, A plus B equals C. So if I do, if, if I add up A and B, I'm always going to get C, you know? That's what I'm getting here. Your next big blessing is kind of like discovering that flow state to where that sweet spot to where you manifest things instantaneously almost it's like a master manifester right 
instantaneous manifest manifestations and intentional manifestations at that. Okay. And it's, and it's heavily due to the people you're surrounding yourself with, right? You guys are giving and receiving from each other at a more rapid rate and pace than you did prior. So bottom of the deck, we have Mars move forward and defend self. Yeah. You're moving forward and you're standing up for yourself. I'm getting seven of wands energy here. Okay. But let's proceed with some tarot in regards to what's your next big blessing, spirit. What is pile number two's next big blessing? So we have eight of earth, that work. You're putting in that work, pile number twos, and you you will be compensated um, in, in contrast. You will be compensated fairly for the work that you're doing is what I'm trying to say. But you're putting in a lot of work and a lot of effort and you're doing so in a fluid state, right? On the traditional Rider Way tarot, the, the person on the tarot card is just grinding away one after the other in a gleeful manner too. Like they don't seem like, oh, I don't want to be here. They seem like, yep, this is what I'm doing. You know, I love it. So I'm just going to keep chiseling away at these stones. What's pile number two's next big blessing. We have the hermit card, okay? So I feel like you could be kind of going inward for answers. Maybe there there could be a Virgo that offers you some insight or, ooh, pile number two is what I'm getting is you're utilizing this Virgo season to really buckle down and get to work. You're like, okay, so some of you all may have even come from pile number ones, but what I was saying here is that you're utilizing the energy. You're going, you're like, you're not being swept up in the currents, but you're using the energy um, to get the things you want, right? To become this manifesto. You're, you are, um, you're becoming the current, right? You're not getting swept away in it. So that's what I'm getting. Cause with the eight of earth, turmeric and then the hermit card i'm definitely getting like virgo energy right some of y'all could be virgos too but i feel like in reality you, you all are just using the virgo season energy to really double down on what you need to get done and i think that's very smart so we have the curandera of earth exactly king of pentacles you are really working on your craft here a lot of you all can be business owners a lot of you all could really want to build an enterprise or an empire for yourself for your family for your community for your loved ones right and you're doing it methodically you're really doing it um in the way in which it sh in which it uh is best to be done right and with the King of Pentacles, Sweetgrass, I feel like you're you're like head honcho. You're really abundant. You have this really abundant mindset and this abundant energy to the point where you're definitely able to like double down and get the things that you need to get done done. We have the Five of Water with Golden Seal, okay? And what I'm getting with the Five of Water, your 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 next big blessing is like you're not you're leaving behind because this did come in reverse five of water so the five of cups reverse you're leaving behind harping on the things that didn't work crying over spilled milk crying over spilled milk uh lamenting on the past you're moving forward and you're defending yourself in the process you're like look I just got to do what I got to do. I can't, you know, I can't stay stuck in a state of like depression or isolation or turmoil because if I even spend one minute over the time that I need to, that I need to in order to like, you know, move forward, it will, it will get me stuck. It will make me stagnant. You know, if I put too much time and energy onto things that I don't want, as opposed to the things that I do want, right? And our last card is the Ace of Cups with Plantain. Exactly, you're filling up yourself. You're 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 finally pile number twos, pouring into yourself. And you know how you're pouring into yourself through your business. Perfect way of self development. You're developing yourself through your business or through the work that you do. So it doesn't necessarily even have to be business, quote unquote. This could be self-work that you're doubling down on in order to um, to live a more optimized life, okay? 
and not just even for yourself, for others, for your community, for your family, for the people who really love and support you and who uh, have similar interests and values as you do. Okay. So very interesting. Let's see. I want to clarify this Virgo card, uh, this Virgo card. Look at me. Why is this hermit card here, spirit? Clarify this hermit card for our pile number twos in regards to their next big blessing. King of Pentacles, you're becoming King of Pentacles because like whatever Virgo energy you have been really double down doubling down on and utilizing to your benefit it's working it's paying off some of you might have a lot of virgo in your chart okay or earth energy right capricorn uh taurus energy right because we have earth taurus virgo and capricorn so some of you all might have like a lot of earth energy in your chart and that's working for you and you and because of this virgo season you are like in your element to the point where you're just doubling down on the things that you need to get done and utilizing the energy, um, the, the, the astrological energies to do that. I think that's very smart. So let's see. Um, let's clarify this ace of water, this ace of cups spirit for our pile number twos. Why is this ace of cups here for our pile number twos? Clarify this ace of cups for pile number twos. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, so, okay, so the Ace of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacles energy. You're taking your time, right? I feel like, yeah, your slow, methodical approach to pouring into yourself through your work, right? You know how they say, like, there's been this movement as of lately, like, oh, uh, I don't dream of labor. I don't want to work. I get that, right? We all want to... We all want to, you know, kind of like have this time to where we can relax and unwind and do what we want and be lazy and, you know, just be in the receptive mode totally, right? Hence this empress energy in reverse, right? The empress, when she's upright, she's she's chilling, okay? She's all about receptivity. She's all about I attract, I don't chase, right? Basically, I stand here and everything comes to me. However... They say that an idle mind is the devil's playground, right? So you, you, whether you believe in the devil or not, the devil means toxic thoughts, um, negative thinking, right? If your mind is too idle, if you're not doing anything with your time, sometimes your mind will just run rampant because it needs to, you know, the natural proclivity of the human mind, it needs to make sense of everything, right? So if you're not doing anything, it's going to make up stuff <laughs> in order for it to just process, right? To to do its its function. So when we work and when we are doing the things that we enjoy as work, we're giving our mind almost like exercise, mental exercise, so it doesn't just ruminate and go to the first thing that it literally conjures up. It's actually work is actually beautiful if we allow it to be right and i feel like in in our society today especially with social media it tells us the opposite like oh no you don't want to work you don't want to do this no we don't want to do meaning not menial work but we don't want to do work that is devoid of purpose or substance that's the work that we're tired of doing as a society we want more purpose-driven work so we can feel more purposeful in our activities in the day-to-day um, uh, workings, right? So we can be like, oh yeah, yeah, I have to type this long letter or I have to, you know, film this YouTube video, but guess what? It's going to help so many people. It's going to help so many people in such a profound way. Why wouldn't I? Like, I, it's actually thinking about that. It's actually giving me joy and it's making me, you know, feel juiced to do it. Okay. So I know that was kind of long and drawn out pile number twos, but it is what it is. So again, let's see how you'll be getting. Well, we kind of know how slow and methodical through people, through your network, right? Through um, networking with like-minded individuals, uh, like friends, family members um, who give to you just as much as you give to them, right? But let's see. Um, let's get more on how these 
next big blessings are going to come in for you, Spirit. Tell us more, Spirit, about how these next big blessings are going to come into our pot number twos. Wow, that was hesitating on coming in. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. So we have health. I love this. It says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So I feel like getting outside, working out, and you don't have to do like strenuous workouts. You could just go for a walk for an hour a day or go for a walk for 30 minutes a day, right? Whatever you can to move your body because our body has like a body and mind coherence right so when we are when we get our blood pumping when we get our heartbeat racing it's really good for the brain right so uh i feel like you're gonna start taking more priority in regards to your health eating better um getting your body moving just being more active in general okay is going to bring in this next big blessing we have acceptance i love that it says i'm learning to accept the things i cannot change yeah so i feel like you're just finally accepting yourself you're accepting who you are and what you bring to the table right what you bring to the people, places, and um, opportunities that are around you, you also bring in opportunities, okay? So I feel like you're finally accepting yourself. You're accepting yourself for who you are and, um, you know, who you want to become. And I feel like people are feeling that energy and that's what's drawing them into you, right? That's what's drawing in these like-minded people into you, pile number twos. And our last card is we have patience again with patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like you are cultivating a sense of patience. For some reason, pile number twos, I feel like you already are pretty patient people, but I feel like you understand that you can't rush or speed up the process and if you could would it even be in your best benefit to do that right would it be in your best benefit and in the best benefit of everyone involved to do that right so you're cultivating more patience and also I feel like you've been very patient with this process right with the giving and receiving process you're very patient with people in general right and because you are very methodical slow moving um or whatever um and it's interesting because the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck but that's because they they know what they need to do so they're not in a rush to do it because they want to do it well right they want to do it thoroughly when we rush in our in our jobs in our work we could kind of do things sloppily because we're not really paying attention to the detail. So that's what I'm getting. You're, you're really paying attention. You're really paying attention to the details of your life. And you're like, you know what? Hey, when it comes in, I'm ready. <laughs> you know, I don't have to get ready. I'm going to be ready. I'm ready. Not even I'm going to. I'm ready. Okay. So I so love that for you. Pile number three. So let's end off your reading with um some astro dice so we're gonna take the zodiac dice first and we're gonna get the three the three most like-minded people who are going to enter your life and bring in these blessings for you list the three sign spirit for our pile number twos on who's bringing in these blessings for our pile number twos the three signs bringing in blessings for pile number twos we have Capricorn. I love that. So if you know a Capricorn or you might have Capricorn energy in your chart, these people, this Capricorn is going to bring you some type of blessing in your friendships, in your, you know, your group. OK, who's the other who's the next sign bringing in the next big blessings in for our pound of twos? Pisces, come on. Pisces, Capricorn energies. OK, so. A Pisces could be bringing in, um, you know, really good energy or, you know, really great blessings. It's going to be a given, a even given, an even exchange, a um, even giving and receiving, um, you know, energy. OK, so tell us more, Spirit. Tell us more. Well, who's the last sign bringing in these blessings for our pile number twos? Aquarius. OK. So, yeah, you could have an Aquarius friend or an Aquarius uh, could be really uh, 
bringing in some type of really great lucrative offer or even helping you to orchestrate something because, you know, Aquarians are the humanitarians of the Zodiac, okay? So let's roll all three together for our last message to conclude our pile number two's reading. Interesting. We have the first house in Sagittarius and Pluto energy. I don't know what Pluto is doing right now, but um, it came out in the first pile. So you guys might be connected. But yeah, Sagittarius in the first house. So you're really taking care of yourself uh, right now. And I feel like in regards to like having more optimism externally, right? Since the first house is the house of the self, it's Aries energy. Um, with this Sagittarius energy, you're really putting yourself first in regards to like what makes you happy, what will give you freedom in the future and you know the things that you're optimistic about, okay? Pile number two. So with that being said, my dreamy dreamers, I love y'all so much. If you like this reading, if it resonated with you, please hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with um, your loved ones or anyone who you think could benefit from the readings and the messages provided here today. If you are, are interested in a gorgeous one-of-a-kind journal look no further uh the link to this tarot journal will be in the description box below like come on guys get into it it's gorgeous and you know me and the illustrator sandrine and really put a lot of time and effort into this journal to be honest for you guys for us too because hey who doesn't you know as a tarot reader who doesn't want you know to use a journal it's really good in regards to um heightening your intuition but yeah it will be great to catalog these readings or other readings you frequent in a journal so you know do yourself a favor and go buy this journal 2222 on my website www.crazydreamer.com also if you're interested in a free consultation for your spiritually based business Go to my website www.crazydreamer.com and leave me a message and um, you know, let me know how I can help you to grow more profits, whether that be on social media or just your overall clientele for your spiritually based business. OK, because I would love to help you guys with that. I know the majority of my uh, my viewership and, you know, our community here, Dreamy Dreamers, you guys are into tarot, at least half of you. You guys either like tarot, 25 uh, percent of you are tarot readers and, um, you know, you can make a lucrative business off of providing guidance, wisdom, and insight to others, okay? Whether that be tarot, oracle, or whether that just be any spiritually-based business, Reiki practitioners, yoga practitioners, um, uh, hypnosis therapy, you name it, okay? Counseling, spiritual counseling, you name it. So go to my website, www.crazydreamer.com and shoot me a message and um, yeah, purchase the free 15 minute consultation that I have for you guys. Okay. So with that being said, I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this really pretty golden star star for your reading for your crystal selection and then i am accepting for your pile selection so off that pile number three is what i'm getting is uh in regards to your next big blessing is that like you're going to start accepting the things the people the situations that come into your life i feel like you all have had some type of like trauma in the past of not accepting like ab abundance or like gifts or you know help more so help assistance from people because it um, it's almost like you felt like they were going to hold whatever they gave you over your head right it wasn't from like a sincere place but i feel like you are dispelling that lie that you've been telling yourself right or that um that misinterpretation maybe something happened when you were a kid right and you asked for help and because you asked for help you were like reprimanded or made to feel like you shouldn't have needed that help and this person held something over your head and you're like never again i'm just gonna do it all myself you are 
transmuting that energy and you are getting out of that energy to the point where there's so many people who want to help you. And I feel like you're going to start accepting that help and embracing it more so. Okay. So with the golden stone star, this is a, uh, crystal. It's a man-made crystal of like commerce, like of abund abundance, right? So I feel like you're going to start calling in more abundance as your next big blessing through accepting even small tokens of affection, okay? Whether that be gifts, small gifts from friends, families, uh, your loved ones, right? Your partner, your whomever, right? Your associates. If someone asks, hey, do you want some coffee? I'm going to go get some coffee. Would you like some? Some of you all's knee-jerk reaction will be like, no, I'm okay, thank you, because you don't want to be an imposition or you might feel like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't take it. But no, I feel like you're going to start accepting it. You're going to start saying, sure, you know, sure, I'll take a cup of coffee. Thank you for offering, you know, you're going to start embracing it. And the more you embrace help, the more you embrace, uh, you know, the small things that are being given to you, bigger things will come into you, into your experience, because you're actually like, being grateful for the things that you're you're currently being given right so each each thing that someone offers us and we uh allow them to help us with it it almost like conditions us for abundance for prosperity right it 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 secures our abundance mindset and our subconscious belief that you know if we circulate you know, are giving and receiving, then everyone is always going to be in a state of abundance, right? And let's say we kind of fix it in our mindset, like, hey, this person is giving this to me. So maybe next time I can do something special for them. Or, you know, this will come back to them in a certain way because, you know, they're helping people and, you know, the universe always provides, right? Something like that. But let's get into your reading. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number three spirit in regards to the next big blessing coming in for pile number threes. What's pile number three's next big blessing? Okay. Okay. Pisces energy. What is happening? Did Pisces come out of retrograde or something? Um, we have intimacy, intuition, and compassion. Okay. So I feel like uh, a Pisces could be giving you something or you can be a Pisces giving to others. And that's going to come back tenfold. Um, with Pisces energy here, it's the yin and the yang. So there is, I feel like at Pisces best when they're balanced, they're very balanced and they're masculine and they're feminine, right? And like balance doesn't have to necessarily be 50 50. It could be 60 40 or, um, you know, um, 30 70 or something like that. It doesn't always have to be 50 50. It could be as close to balance as possible, right? So some of you all could be Pisces, have heavy Pisces in your chart or be surrounded by Pisces to the point where, like, you know, Maybe they're trying to give to you. That could be love. That could be kindness. That could even be material things. And you know, you're going to start embracing it and vice versa. Some of you all could, um, you know, yeah, be Pisces and you have to learn how to be in the receptive mode instead of giving, giving, giving all the time. Okay. In order to see growth and in order to receive your big blessing. Okay. What's pile number three's next big blessing? Uh, your next big blessing could also be a Pisces person coming into your life, giving you something as well. So house one, we have individuality, self-image and approach to life. Yeah, you're changing your concept of yourself. You could be working on your self-concept or self-image um, and your perspective, right? Or you could be identity shifting. Maybe in the past, your identity was I have to do everything myself. I have to go at it alone. People will always hold things over my head whenever I ask for help. And now you're shifting into the identity of like, no, um, this is an even exchange. This is mutually beneficial. If they give something to me, it's either I'm going to, you know, give it right back to them in some way, shape or form, or the universe will find a way for them to get, you know, what they're uh, receiving. Okay in some way, shape or form. So you're kind of like flipping the script in regards to like, you know, the blessings being perpetuated in, in circulation. Okay. So what's our pile number three's next big blessing. So it's definitely like an identity shift. Like you're shifting into, uh, 
the version of the self that you want to be and that's going to, you know, already be that that you're going to already kind of like embody when this blessing hits, if that makes sense. You know, a lot of the times we look to receive things like blessings and miracles um, because of how it will make us feel like, oh, if I have a blessing of a, a windfall of money, I would feel so good right now because I know all my needs will be met. Right. So you're going to be embodying all your needs being met. You're going to just feel it, even if that isn't what it feels like currently. Right. Even if that's not your current cir circumstance, if you embody all my needs are met. Oh, my gosh. All my needs are met. This feels so amazing until that miracle comes. It's, it's just going to be like very natural and it's, it's just going to come faster. Pile number three is okay. So what's pile number three's next big blessing? What's our pile number three's next big blessing spirit? What is our pile number three's next big blessing? We have water. Very interesting. I don't know what's happening with the water signs, but they keep coming out. So we have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, spirituality, emotion, intuition and compassion heavy emphasis on your intuition and compassion right heavy emphasis on intuition and compassion trust in your intuition and have compassion i feel like you're going to start accepting more compassion from other people maybe the reason why pile number ones you've been very adverse to accepting certain things maybe love or maybe like um how can i put this love positive energy is because like you just feel like it's always been held over your head that's just what i'm getting like the, it just looks like this person doesn't look that happy they look like someone's holding something over their head like oh here we go like i can't be myself around this person maybe you felt like you couldn't be your natural loving caring self in front of others because you get persecuted or judged for it but now if a Pisces or a water sign or someone else is coming into you, inundating you with that love, it feels uncomfortable, right? It feels like something's, something's not right. This isn't natural. This isn't normal for me, right? So I feel like you're starting to be more receptive. And because you are starting to be more receptive to this love, to this devotion, to this energy, you, you, you know, the blessings are pouring in. Bottom of the deck, mutable signs, mutable. We have Gemini. Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces, surrender fluidity and welcome change. Yeah, you're welcoming, you're accepting, you're just starting to embrace, you know, what's coming to you right now. And your identity is shifting because of it. Tell us more, Spirit. What's the next big blessing coming into our pile number threes? Next big blessing coming in for our pile number threes. Okay. We have the three of air with echinacea. I feel like you're healing a lot of heartbreak right now. I feel like you could have really been going through something, pile number um, threes, that just, it, it didn't feel the best, right? We have the six of water with barrage, right? And look, offerings, ancestors, okay? Um, there could be a childhood friend coming back to you. You could be feeling um, more in like a childlike energetic state because you have started the healing process, right? I feel like ancestors could be by your side helping you with healing as well. Jeez, all these water, so much emotions right now. So much emotions. <laughs> I'm just getting that BG songs. It's just, the, uh, and um, Destiny's Child, right? They covered that bg songs emotions taking me over yeah um anyways fourth water with mint okay so yeah you could have been in maybe like this depressive state right and when we're depressed or in we're when we are in like a low frequency state it's hard to pull ourselves out of that, right? We literally have to do our due diligence every single day and every single moment in regards to being disciplined in our mindset and the thoughts that we think or we allow to ruminate in order to get ourselves out of an apathetic state. You could, you might have felt like a lot of things were being given to other people and you were being left out. You see how this one cup has nothing in their cup? Um... And that, you know, that made you feel bad or something like that. But I feel like the blessing is you're about to be blessed. You're about to have an overflow 
of options. And it's interesting because we have three cups that are full here and then we have the fourth cup. So maybe you just kind of got to the party, so to speak. And now you have to kind of let, you know, people pour into you. Let people pour into you is what I'm getting. Wow. Let people pour into that empty vessel that you feel, you know, or maybe your vessel is empty right now and you need love. You need compassion, right? You need compassion. You need to accept the compassion being given to you, right? And the beauty about this reading, these are all just daily things. You know, you can change them in the blink of an eye, in the snap of the finger. What's pile number... Jeez, so much Pisces energy. I'm not going to take this, but I'm just going to show you card number 12, the hanged one with Burdock. Okay. So you could be changing your perspective. I feel like you are altering your perspective on a lot of things right now. And it could be due to someone in particular in your life really pouring into you right now. I'm going to put this on the side. I'm going to put this right here, pile number threes, but I, it came out so prematurely. I kind of don't want to take it, but let's see. What's the next big blessing coming into our pile number threes? Next big blessing coming in for pile number threes. Okay, we have the Hia of Earth with Linden. So the Hia of Earth represents the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like, yeah, you're rebuilding, you're restabilizing. You are um, kind of like relearning something that you already knew to be true. But sometimes, you know, we might, I always say we might fall asleep at the will of life, right? That is basically being unconscious. And our goal is to be in a state of consciousness at all times, because when we're consciously aware of our life and that we are the creators of our life, we can manifest what we want in this life. And we could do, have, and be anything in our life, which we pretty much know when we're conscious of life, um, it will always steer our ship in the right direction. Sometimes if we fall asleep at the will of life, right, we will get slowly but steadily more off course. It's not like we can't course correct. We can always do it, right? But we just kind of start drifting, you know, to the side. So I feel like someone... It could be a particular Pisces in your life. I'm not even going to pretend. It could be a Pisces in your life. It could be somebody in your life really pouring into you or wanting to pour into you right now. So if I were you, I would just embrace it. Pile number threes. Because this is going to be a huge blessing to you because you're going to start, they're going to start rubbing off on you to the point where you, you're literally going to see your life transform. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, like, guess what happened to me today? I got like a free cup of coffee. Someone paid it forward to me. Someone, you know, I got this uh, check in the mail, something like that. Like you're going to start seeing like your life transform before your eyes. And you're really going to be like, huh, they were onto something. This person who was so positive or who really had a positive mental attitude they're rubbing off on me and I'm actually okay with this, you know? Tell us tell us more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Um, next big, the next big blessing <laughs> coming in for our pile number three is the next big blessing coming in for our pile number three, Spirit. Next big blessing coming in for our pile number threes. Thank you. So we have the seven of air. OK, so we have the seven of air with eucalyptus. And you know what's interesting? I remember this card because I'm like, what is going on? What is all this? It looks like something like kind of like old timey. But what this is, is this is an essential or essential oil extractor. And in the guidebook, it talks about how extensive the process is to extract the oils out of herbs and plants right so what i'm getting here is like it's almost like trying to educate on conservation right like it takes a lot of plants just to get a small amount of essential oil right so what i'm getting is like if it okay think about it like this if it takes a small amount, I mean, if it takes a large amount of plants to produce like one or a couple of drops of essential oil, how can you kind of like 
create that as a story into your daily lives and how you should be poured into and conserve your energy through the thoughts that you're thinking, right? So let's say we're thinking rampant thoughts, like our thoughts are just racing and it's taking so much energy for us to just do a simple task because we're allowing our thoughts to run wild, right? We're allowing our thoughts uh, to be eaten away, to eat away at our day or our time or whatever, right? That's what I'm getting here. I really hope this makes sense, pile number threes, but this is what I'm getting. Don't allow your day to be eaten up by negative thoughts that are lying to you. Okay, with the seven of air, eucalyptus, right? I do, I want to, I want to read this. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of this uh, eucalyptus, seven of air, because I really liked this. Um, I really like the seven of swords or the seven of air in this, in this deck. Hold on, wait, here it is. Okay, it says, seven of air, eucalyptus, trust in reason, do not be swayed by popular opinion, respond with integrity, exactly. It says, a copper still sits next to piles of old aero, uh, aromatherapy books on a sunny table outside. Sunlight bounces over the scene. A warm breeze pushes eucalyptus leaves across the book and the large eucalyptus tree nearby shudders with delight. Information is key to understanding. Trust in reason, discern fact from feeling. When your assumptions are challenged, learn more before taking further action. Essential oils may provide quick relief, but are a resource intensive medicine. This is what I was talking about, y'all. Hundreds of pounds of plant material are needed to make one ounce of oil. That's trippy. That's crazy. As botanicals desire, as botanicals desirable for their essential oils, such as eucalyptus are planted, native species are pushed out, devastating local ecosystems. Eucalyptus teaches us that what comes easily usually comes with a hidden cost. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. What comes easy is not accepting love, not accepting positivity, not accepting change, right? In a positive way. It takes a concerted effort to condition your mind to being optimistic unless you're just, that's just your natural proclivity, but it's not many people's, right? I have to read that again. What comes easily usually comes with a hidden cost. Oof. Okay. It is often said that the greatest enemy of learning is not ignorance, but the illusion of knowledge. Distill information to the essence of clarity. Act ethically whether or not no one knows. Okay. Mm. Just as eucalyptus clears the lungs, you will breathe easy once again. Truth will give you direction. Boom. Boom. Okay, so yeah, I I don't even know if I have to clarify for this pile number um, pile number threes. Um, we have the lovers card number six Hawthorne in reverse. So I feel like you are you are going to start accepting the love that you know you deserve. They say we don't get the love we want. We get the love we think we deserve, right? We get, and that doesn't even have to just be about love. It's about life. We don't get what we want. We get the things that we think we deserve, okay? Or ultimately who we think we are, right? With this individuality, self-image and, and approach to life. So I feel like you're you're relearning, you're re-implementing things that you already know, pile number threes, um, however, you, you know, you're, you're, you're shifting your identity again and for the better. Okay. I love that. I love that. Um, let's see. Yeah. So I don't really feel the need to clarify. So let's proceed. How is this next big blessing coming in for our power number three spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages. How is this next big blessing coming in for power number threes? Come on, we have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things, exactly. Love backwards is evolve. You're evolving, right? And you're evolving into the love. Like I said, you 
feel you deserve, right? Okay, we have health. It says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Yeah, you're realizing like, hey, and it's interesting because look, this this figure here, this person is green. This health energy is green. So I feel like um, I'm getting here. You're, you're taking care of your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, and your spiritual health by doing this, by making this change, pile number threes. And that's going to be a humongous blessing for you. Because when we feel good on the inside, we feel and look good on the outside. So that's going to just shift everything for you. How is it? Uh, and bring in your blessings, right? How are these blessings coming in for our pile number threes? How are these next big blessings coming in for our pile number three spirit? And we have indecision. And it says, I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. I feel like you're in, <clears throat> you maybe have felt like your intuition has been taken from you. Like you can't really see clearly, right? Like the seven of swords, like you, you're, or the seven, uh, Oh no, this is, <laughs> this is, um, the hangman, right? Yeah. Like you're in this limbo. Like you can't really see the forest through the trees. You can't see the bigger picture anymore. And I just seen 22, was it 22, 22 on the clock? I don't know. But again, like the seven of air would suggest, I feel like you've kind of, there's been this hidden cost that you've been paying in regards to maybe receiving something that you thought was easy, you know, like, oh, this is an easy way to receive something. But in actuality, you were definitely paying a hidden cost or a hidden tax. Okay. So, yeah. So yeah, pile number threes, bottom of the deck courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Yeah. You're getting your courage back. You're getting your stride back pile number threes. Okay. So I love this. And with indecision, you are recultivating your intuitive faculty, the things that you know to be true. And, um, how you can use your intuition and uh, these hunches to lead you to where you want to go. Okay. So we're going to choose um, the Zodiac dice to see what are the top three Zodiacs that will be bringing in these blessings for you. Oh, okay. Look, oh, Pisces. Okay. Enough the spirit. Like what? Okay. Look, it fell out of my hand. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to roll this again, but Pisces, I'm telling you, Pisces has, has been coming out every single last deck. I don't know if Pisces was in retrograde and it's not in retro. I don't know what's happening, but I know we're in Virgo season and the opposite of Virgo is Pisces. So that could be an indicator, but let's see. What are the top three Zodiac signs? What is the first Zodiac sign that's going to bring in these blessings for um, our pile number three spirit? Okay, we have... Uh, Scorpio. Okay. So it could be a Scorpio in your life. Let's see. Water sign. What is the next Zodiac sign that's going to help to bring in these next big blessings for our pile number threes? Sagittarius. Okay. Beautiful. Sagittarius energy. So there could be Sagittarius person coming into your life to help you kind of figure something out or see things different or have a different perspective. Okay. Let's see. What's the last zodiac sign that's going to help to bring in these next big blessings in pile number three's life? Okay, Sagittarius again. Okay, so technically you guys got four Pisces, Scorpio. Well, no, you got three Pisces, Scorpio, and Sagittarius, I guess. So, yeah. So now let's roll all three dice to get the final message to end pile number three's reading spirit. Final message, advice, guidance, and wisdom last messages for our pile number threes okay so we have libra in the first house with <sighs> with i think that's us uh, pluto what pluto again okay wow pluto pluto has been coming out a lot lately too so yeah, transformation, you're definitely definitely undergoing some type of transformation. I don't know if Pluto is like in retrograde or doing its thing or whatever it's doing, right? Pile number threes, but it's been Pluto and Pisces energy has been coming out incessantly during this reading. So, you know, 
take that what you will. We have the first house and we have the first house here as well. So I feel like, yeah, you're going to be, work you're transforming, you're transmuting. There's like this death and re rebirth cycle happening for you, pile number uh, threes in regards to your self image and the way you look at something. And then we have this Libra energy here. Okay. So I feel like you're balancing the scales in your life. You're, you're being brought divine justice and you're, you're really balancing the light energies and the dark energies within you right now as well and spirit just wants you to know that and wants you to you know feel proud about that okay so with that being said my dreamy dreamers i love you all so much if you like this reading if it resonated please hit that thumbs up button like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who will best benefit from the messages provided here today if you are interested in a gorgeous one-of-a-kind tarot journal look no further the link to this journal will be in the description box down below. It's beautiful. And you all can use this journal to catalog your readings, whether it's for yourself, friends, families, your clients, you name it. It's a good tool to help heighten your intuition because we got intuition twice in this reading here. So I feel like it, it will be a great tool to help um, really uh, bring forth your intuition again, okay? And, and have you trust it. Also, if oh, you guys could purchase this on my website, www.crazydreamer.com. Uh, yeah, and Amazon will ship it straight to your house. Also, my dreamy dreamers, those of you all who have spiritually based businesses or who are interested in starting a spiritually based business, go to my website and um, apply for my free spiritually based business consulting Um yeah, my free 15 minute spiritually based business consulting call. Okay. And we're going to get you some profits into your business. We're going to help you get clients. We're going to help you uh, make money off of social media through your spiritually based business. Okay. Whether you're a tarot reader, oracle card reader, Reiki practitioner, yoga practitioner, whatever you do, we're going to allow more income to uh, come into your business and facilitate growth in your business, okay? So my website is in the description box down below. Go check me out. Go purchase a reading, 45-minute reading. Or even if you just say, hey, I don't want a consultation call. Let's go full steam ahead. Go purchase my 45-minute spiritually-based business con consultation call in which I will give you basically the general inner workings of like what to do immediately and how to start uh growing your spiritual based business okay so again www.crazydreamer.com just how it's spelled on my youtube panel handle c r z y d r e a m r.com okay i love you all so much and i'll see you in your next reading bye